Welcome back. When it comes to animated films, they don't get much bigger than Disney's Frozen. Not only did it win two Oscars, the animated song fest is also permanently playing in DVD players all over the world. It's much to a parent's delight. But now the magical movie has been transformed for the stage and after wowing audiences on Broadway, has now found its home here in Australia. In fact, Sydney is currently the only place in the world where you can see Frozen the musical in production. Wow. Courtney Monsma and Thomas McGuan, aka Princess Anna and Prince Hans, join us live. We are in the presence of royalty. <laughs> we are honoured. I feel like Oprah. <laughs> So you played We're Princess <laughs> Anna, that, that's the fun sister from Frozen. Yes. What's it like transforming into Anna every night? It's absolutely amazing. Anna is such an incredible character and role model for everyone. She mm. really leads with her heart and it has so much fun in the show. So she really teaches me a lot and keeps me super positive. Oh, <laughs> yeah. lovely. Now, Thomas, Hans isn't necessarily your average Prince Charming. No, he isn't. No, what's he no. like? Well, he's actually quite a mystery in this show. You know, he is, he's the 13th son of a king, so he has absolutely zero responsibility in his own kingdom. And he comes to Arendelle and sort of has this opportunity to sort of become a leader, um, in yeah. a sense. So um, in this show, you know, he gets his own sort of musical motif and he gets a lot more... We, we learn a lot more about him in this show, which is really quite fascinating and, yeah. Yeah. Good that, fun. Courtney, we really like me. <laughs> <laughs> Courtney, look at your magnificent hair, but we don't get to see that because you wear a lots of wigs. Yes. But Thomas, your hair, you were born to play a prince. <laughs> like, <Thanks. laughs> look, look at I that grew hair. it myself. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Is, did you grow it into that style for the role? Uh, yeah, I did actually. Yeah, it's been cut specifically. Like, I literally can't get it to fall any other way than this. Wow, <laughs> well, spot on. You're born to play the that. prince. Now, some people. Uh, sorry, have we finished with the hair conversation? Yeah, now? absolutely. Yeah, it's I know it makes you oh, uncomfortable. Fabulous hair, fabulous hair. <laughs> I thank my parents. Uh, now, some people are very familiar with the story of Frozen. There are some who, who may not have seen it. So, Courtney, mm. we need from you a quick recap of, of sort of what the show's about. Mm. Oh, good one. Um, so, Frozen is about two sisters and basically their journey to come back together and stop, uh, help her from letting go. Does that, that didn't really Absolutely. make sense, did it? Mm. Well, yeah, let no, it go. No, yeah, let it go. Yeah, I'm, I, it's a good, <laughs> there's yeah. a good song, I believe, called yeah. Let It Go. I've never heard. I have heard. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> have you heard that song, Larry? No. <laughs> I'm still trying to let go of the head conversation. Yeah. Uh, it's magical. Uh, people who have seen this on the stage say it is actually magical how some of these characters are recreated mm. on the stage. Thomas, tell us about the, the snowman we see here. Yeah, and absolutely. Sven the well, reindeer. Well, Sven and Olaf, these are, these are um, aspects of the show that really, I'm just watching it now, um, <laughs> that really bring out the magic of the show, you know, yeah. they, they suddenly come to life, they're no longer animated characters, they are real, in the flesh, tangible, right there in front of your face. Mm. Um, it really is quite a spectacle and, you know, the entirety of Disney is really just magic and yeah. we see that throughout the show with all of the special effects, the amazing lighting, yeah. all yeah. the fantastic costumes yeah. um, and obviously all the fantastic songs that we're familiar with. Yeah, there's so much going on on that beautiful yeah. stage. Yeah. Uh, you were the first stage show back during the pandemic. Mm. How, how hard was it for you and the gang last year? It was a lot, definitely uh, as an industry I think we all banded together yeah. and really helped um, each other through it which was amazing, mm. you know, being one of the first productions up, it wasn't just for us, it was for the whole industry and for the whole country really, not just for the people on stage but for the people that got to watch shows again, it's such yeah, a beautiful yeah. experience to well escape. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. you could imagine then how grateful we really are to be, you know, on stage, you know, the first ones in the world, let alone yeah. here in, on Australian soil. It really is quite fantastic. Yeah. And, and I guess you're sort of probably living out a childhood dream, are you? Because <laughs> being able to perform on stage really is a gift and not many people make it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like it's and it's, it's beautiful to have that opportunity um, as a performer, but as I said before, you know, to make other people's dreams come true. And sometimes mm -hmm. that is just visiting the theatre. It doesn't matter what age you are. It really is a sense of escapism for everyone. Right. Mm. We are in for a real treat today, not only because you've both got magnificent hair, <laughs> uh, but you're going to be performing for us. What, what are you going to do? We're going to be performing Love is an Open Door, which is the very famous song from the first film, but yes. there's a little bit of a twist uh, for this uh, stage production. Might so see stay some tuned. dance moves. We might oh, awesome yeah. dance moves. <laughs> and at what point does this come in the musical? So you're singing it to each Absolutely. other? Absolutely, we're singing it to each other. It's within the first act. When so... he likes me. <laughs> oh, but there's a twist. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff.
guys. Thank you so much. Great chat. Uh, good to see you. Disney's Frozen the Musical is leaving Sydney soon before heading to Melbourne. For tickets, head to frozenthemusical.com.au. Now stick around because coming up, Courtney and Thomas will be back in character to perform Love is an Open Door. Uh, get the kids around the telly. You don't want to miss it. It's coming up.